في كل هول القوى العظمى اللي هي عم تتحق... عم تتحكم بهول العرب اللي كثير صغار فمستحيل اكيد يكون العرب ايد وحده But, uh, honestly madam i don't understand how you can equate iran with the united states or iran with with with, with saudi arabia in what way is iran stopping the arabs from uniting the arabs can unite anytime they like but they don't like this is the problem don't like لانه في شيء اكبر منهم بكثير هو اللي عم يتحكم فيهم عم بيخليهم ما يعملوا اللي هم بدهم اياه no if i have one message which i have been trying to deliver for 40 years to arab audiences it is this that the only thing stopping you from uniting is you بس ايران مثل مثل امريكا the united states the united states cannot control the streets of brooklyn the united states cannot pay its electricity bills the united states cannot stop the lebanese people being together the lebanese being together with the syrians the lebanese and the syrians being together with the iraqis they cannot stop the arabs being together only the arabs are stopping the arabs being together as long as people sit in coffee shops with their argili blaming the hawaja blaming the turkish blaming the british blaming the israelis blaming the saudis blaming the iranians you will always be divided and as long as you're divided you'll be weak and as long as you are weak they'll steal your wealth it's not rocket science you don't have to be einstein to work it out unity is strength if you could only stop thinking like sunni and shia like Lebanese and Syrian, like left and right, like Maghrebi or Levantine, if you could, or, or Gulfi, if you could only stop thinking like that. You are 350 million people who speak the same language. You know, in Europe, we speak 150 languages. You speak one language with one God. Imagine the strength that you could have if you came together. But as long as you are ready to sit and blame other people, you will never be united. And as long as you are not united, you will be divided. And as long as you are divided, they will steal your things. That's why they're doing it. They don't care if you're Sunni or Shia. They don't. Listen, madam, in the parliament in which I sit, there are 650 members. If I ask them one by one to define the difference between Sunni and Shia, none of them could do so. None of them. They don't care if you're Sunni or Shia. They don't care if you pray or fast or make Hajj. They don't care about Islam. They don't care about religion. They just care about dividing you. They just care about making you fight against each other. As long as you're fighting each other, you're not fighting them. You're not fighting Israel. You're allowing them to steal your oil, steal your gas, steal your water. They're allowing, you're, you're allowing them to rob you of that which God gave you. I'm sorry if I'm passionate about this because it's the most...